hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel this reading is going to be an all signs reading from aries to pisces it's going to be for all signs apply this reading to your sun moon, moon and rising and venus so let's say you're a taurus watch your sun sign which is taurus but if it doesn't resonate for you check out your other placements your moon sign um venus and rising this reading, I think I have it up as a service on my website. My website is in the description box along with everything else you guys need to know about me. My Instagram um, and all that good stuff. On my Instagram throughout the week, I do different deals. So Monday is Mini Love Message Monday. Tuesday is Their Hidden Feelings Tuesday. And Wednesday, it differs from um, what's their current feelings for you Wednesday or what they want to tell you Wednesday. So yeah check out my instagram it is in the description box but i also have those services on my website which is also in my description box so let's dive into it this is going to be what the person on your mind wants to tell you so this could be somebody that you're separated from this could be somebody that you are um currently dealing with somebody that you just simply have a crush on this is going to be the person that's on your mind so think of that person and you know let's make it happen let's make it happen so i'm going to start off with aries Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The person that's on their mind, what is it that this person wants to tell them? What is it that this person wants to tell them? They feel like you push them away. They hate the fact that you push them away. They wish you were more clingy. I feel like this person, they're used to like clingy men or clingy women. And the fact that you aren't clingy like that, it confuses them. But it also makes them wish like you were more clingy. It makes them wish that you, um, you gave them more attention. More energy, more attention, more effort. I don't know. I'm sort of getting the vibe like they want to be lovey-dovey with you. They want to be super affectionate. But they don't know how you feel. So it's like they're holding back because they don't, they don't know your feelings. They don't know your intentions. And it's because you aren't clingy. Very odd. Like just because I'm not clinging to your ass doesn't mean I don't like you. <laughs> what else is it that this person wants to tell my Aries? Mm. And they want to tell you that they got a stalking ass ex too. They got a stalking ass ex. This ex could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They may have already spoke about this ex, but they may not have got deep into detail. This ex is like full blown stalker. It's so weird because in their ex's mind, it's like they're still together. So it's sort of like they're trying to catch your current love interest red-handed with someone. Like in their eyes, that would be like a secret lover, a sneaky link. It would be, you would be the third party. Like it's super weird. You would be the other woman or the other man. Like their ex in their mind is still like involved with this person. I don't really feel like there's any communication between them. I don't even feel like the person that you're dealing with pays them any mind. But this person, they feel like they're still involved with your love interest. They feel like they're still together. So it's sort of like they're trying to catch them red-handed with someone else. But it's like we're not even together, so you can't catch me red-handed. We're not together. That's so weird. Tell me more. What is it that this person wants to tell my Aries? That is so weird. Yeah, they want to tell you that they moved on. They have a crazy ass ex, but they moved on. But my issue is it's like they don't want to speak about it because like to them, it will give the illusion as if they're still dealing with them. So like, let's say they tell you like, yeah, I have this ex that blows my phone up. They be calling me. They be texting me. They be popping up at my house. You would think, um... They're probably still dealing with each other because why would you be blowing up somebody's phone that don't pay you no mind? Why would you be popping up at their house if they pay you no mind? Like you're you're thinking like, mm, that's fishy. But this person is actually telling the truth. They're not involved with this ex at all. This ex is just like a fucking loony tune. This ex in their mind, they're together. Mm -hmm. So they can blow them up. They can pop up. They can, you know, go speak to their family and this and that. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. 
We have the chariot here, Sagittarius, Cancer energy. That could be the sign of your love interest or this ex, which I already said that actually. Water and fire energy is heavy here. Yeah, this is super weird. Yeah, basically what your love interest wants to tell you is that they have a crazy ass ex that they're not dealing with. Um, and they hate the fact that you aren't clingy. So that lets me know, obviously this ex is clingy as fuck and has probably always been clingy. And it's like, that's, that is what they're used to, that clinginess. And you don't, you don't act like that. So to them, it's sort of like, you're not interested. That's weird. Anyways, Taurus, let's get into Taurus. My Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is um the person that's on their mind? What is it that this person wants to tell them? The person that is on their mind, what is it that this person wants to tell them? We have the star card, Aquarius energy. That could be an Aquarius. Let me get one more card, please. What they want to tell you is they're mentally... How can I even say this? Mentally, they aren't really prepared to be in a relationship. They aren't really prepared to be with someone romantically. This person, they're holding back from you because they're not ready for, um, for something serious. Hold on, you guys. I'm a little chilly. It's a little chilly in my home right now. Yeah, they want to tell you that they're... They got to focus on their mental health. They got to focus on a peace of mind. It's sort of like... I, I don't want to say this connection is stressful to them. I'm not getting that type of vibe at all. It's just a life is stressful to them in general. And their mental health is declining. So it's like, in order for them to feel better, it's sort of like they... They, they, they feel the need to isolate. They feel the need to withdraw from you and focus on their happiness, focus on things that will bring them happiness and peace. Yes, you can bring them happiness and peace, but this person, it looks like they have an issue with overthinking and um, they may overthink, oh, when I'm not with this Taurus, are they with other people? Are they texting other people? Are they calling other people? Are they going on dates with other people? Are they cheating on me? Or are, you know, like their mind is just running, 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 running. So it's like they sort of need to isolate themselves to focus on their mental health, to focus on peace. Hmm. Tell me more. What is it that this person wants to tell my Taurus? Yeah, they want to end things. I'm not even going to lie. It's only a matter of time until... They reach out, letting you know that they want to end things. We have moving on, leaving slash starting something new. And then we have intentionally holding back, lack of effort, waiting for you to take action. My thing is, I don't feel like this person is waiting for you to take action. I feel with this four of pentacles as well, they're intentionally holding back from you. But they have their own reason as to why they're doing it. It's not because they expect you to chase them and they're waiting for you to initiate communication and this and that. No, it's because they're experiencing a lot of a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, just a lot of negative thoughts. And they know the best thing for them right now is to not get into a relationship, to not deal with anyone, to just isolate and get their self right. We have making contact, expect an incoming call, text or email. So this person will be reaching out to let you know, like, you know, right now it would be best to end things. Now, they may not give you the actual reason as to why they may just end things. They may just even ghost you, but yeah so i just did aries i just did taurus now it is gemini my gemini's gemini sun moon rising venus my gemini's what is it the person that's on their mind what is it that this person wants to tell them the person that's on their mind what is it that this person wants to tell them they want to have your babies they want to get married. They want to have all your children. They want to live happily ever after with you. They want to be with you forever. If you already have children, they want to have more children with you.
If you guys already live together, they want to get married. If you guys are already married, they want to take things to the next level, whatever that may be. Have more kids, Have get some pets. Like this person, they want a life with you and they just want more from this connection. And not more in a bad way. It's just like, you know, they're so in love, they want to baby make. They're so in love, they want to live with you. They're so in love, they want to get married. They're so in love, they want to meet your family. Basically, what this person wants to tell you is how in love they are with you. Literally. <laughs> we have baby, please don't go direct, direct message to you from your person's energy. And then we have I refuse to let you be happy with anyone else. Another direct message to you from their energy. Why they, why this giving me the vibe they think you're moving on or they think you're about to deal with someone new? I don't know if this is just further, you know, stating that they're so in love with you and they don't want to lose you. Or if this is them thinking there's a third party. I'm not really picking up third party energy, but, you know, maybe their mind is going to that. Tell me more about what this person wants to tell my Geminis. Let's see. Tell me more about what this person... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me more. Uh, yeah, their mind is just playing tricks on them. Their mind is um, making them overthink. I don't see that they feel it strongly like, yeah, you're dealing with somebody else. I don't think that... I just feel like their mind is playing tricks on them. Like at times, you know, when you don't pick up that phone on the second ring, if, if their call goes to voicemail, if your phone is accidentally battery dies and they call and it goes straight to voicemail, their their mind starts running and they start overthinking things. But for the most part, um, I don't really see that they truly think there's a third party or anything like that. It's just little moments here and there that makes them think, um, you know, somebody else might be in the picture. You may be entertaining other people, but it's not... A strong feeling of theirs they they just be thinking like hmm if they are dealing with somebody else like i'm not letting them get away from me i'm not letting them end things with me mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. all right gemini this motherfucker not playing games with you baby please don't go i refuse to let you be happy with anyone else they not playing games with you gemini listen <laughs> all right so i just did aries taurus gemini now it is time for cancer my cancers my cancers sun moon rising venus my cancers what is it that their love interest or the person that's on their mind wants to tell them what is it that this person wants to tell them Mm -mm -mm. oh they want to tell you they think you're unhappy with them they think you're dealing with other people they think someone else is in the picture cancer your love interest wants really wants to tell you like are you even happy with me do you even love me still do you even want to be with me still they, they want to ask you is there somebody else in the picture they truly feel like somebody else is in the picture they truly feel like you are involved like with someone else I'm telling you. Oh, tell me more. Oh, okay. So I see what's going on. At one point, your love interest used to brag about this relationship to everybody, to their friends, to their family members on social media. Um, they they used to brag about this relationship all the time, all the time. All the time. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, um, your love interest, they used to brag about this relationship all the time. To everyone. But there's fake friends or family members that are or were feeding them negative ass thoughts. 
like oh you bragging on this cancer a lot you sure they even loyal to you because you know i heard some things like i just see them putting in thoughts into their mind negative ass thoughts of you dealing with somebody else of you flirting with other people of you going on dates with someone else like it's somebody in their circle that's very jealous of this relationship that's very jealous of your happiness the love between y'all and instead of like just being jealous from afar you know instead of just being jealous at a distance they're feeding negative shit to your love interest cancer so now their mind is in shambles now they're feeling like oh my gosh is my is my cancer dealing with other people are they really like seeing me and someone else what they want to tell you is i'm going to marry you one day literally direct message to you from their energy what they want to tell you is they, they want to marry you one day like they know they want to settle down with you they know they want to be with you forever but now they're sort of second guessing things and they're not second guessing their feelings and their intentions not at all because they know they want to be with you they're second guessing your feelings and your intentions they're second guessing your loyalty to them i feel like this friend or family member whoever this person is they know your love interest has anxiety we have mental disorder at the bottom of the deck depression anxiety narcissism etc i feel like they know your love interest has anxiety in those thoughts alone will eat at them and cause them to be super fucking stressed, super unhappy and just experiencing just chaos in their mind. Who is this friend or family member? Can y'all tell me who this person is? You'll know who this person is. The high priestess came out. You need to trust your intuition. You know who this person is. Their initial initials could be I, B, J, T, L. You, you know who this person is or H I'm even getting H but you know who this person is I'm getting T R and A here you know exactly who this person is I feel like you already get funny vibes from that friend or family member anyways you know who this person is but yeah, I would just recommend you to give your love interest reassurance because that's something they really need right now. All right, so I just did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. It's time for Leo, my Leo, my Leo, Team Leo. I'm a Leo myself, y'all. My big three is in Leo. I'm a Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm a Leo through and through, baby. I am a Leo through and through. All right, so my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The person that's on their mind, the person they're involved with. What is it that this person wants to um, tell my Leos, I guess? What is it that this person, yeah, the person that they're involved with wants to tell my Leos? One card at a time, please, okay. They wanna tell you they're sorry. They wanna tell you that they wanna be cordial with you. This seems to be somebody that you're separated from. This definitely seems to be somebody that you're at odds with because they want your forgiveness. They want to apologize to you. They want to tell you that they want your forgiveness. They want to tell you, I'm sorry, I wanna be friends again, or I want I want to be in a relationship again. I wanna at least be cordial. I don't want any bad blood between us. There's someone here that wants to tell you like, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for any stress or un uneasiness that I brought to you. I'm sorry for betraying you. I'm not too sure. What is it that this person did? For them to want to apologize. One card at a time, please. What is it that this person did? Got the page of wands here. What is it that this person did? Mm. It looks like they were involved with an ex. If this person was married, it looks like they were involved with their ex-wife, ex-husband. Or if this person has children, it looks like they were involved with their... um. Baby mama, baby daddy, whoever that person is to them. But this is definitely an ex that they have a lot of history with. This is an ex that they are. I feel like they still have feelings for this ex. Like, you know, I, I don't have children, but I was always raised on whoever you have a child with, that is your family. That's your family, that's your family, that's your family. I don't give a fuck if y'all hate each other's guts. Like, that is your family. You started a child with that person. That person's gonna be in your life for the rest of your life. Like, yeah, some people be like, oh, that person is gonna be in your life for 18 years. No, 18 years plus, because what if your child gets married? 
they get married at 25 they get married at 30 now you now you got to see you know the person that you that you had that child with at the wedding at the baby shower all types of shit if they get sick and go to the hospital at the hospital you know so i just see in a way they still have feelings for whoever this is if it's an ex-wife ex-husband baby mama baby daddy whoever this person is that they have a lot of history with they still in a sense have feelings for this person so it looks like they got caught up when they were dealing with you in those feelings for that other person and i basically see they want to apologize to you for that it may be something that you know it may be something that you don't even know but their guilty conscience is killing them and now they want to admit it to you and they want to apologize but yeah i'm gonna go in with the oracle deck that i created the masculine's oracle covid 19 edition um this deck is on sale on my website it's on sale for 20 dollars, if i'm not mistaken 20 or 25 i think the original price is 25 and it's on sale for 20 i can't really remember but this deck is available same day shipping you guys if it's before five o'clock same day shipping if it's before five o'clock so definitely make sure you check that out you guys but let's see what else is it that this person wants to tell you hmm let's use my oracle deck also i want to say real quick thank you to all the donations you guys thank you for the cash apps the paypal donations the super chat and super thanks thank you so much those donations i am putting it towards my new deck i am creating a new deck if you know you know them shit is expensive so all the donations you guys send it is going straight to the new deck so i just want to say thank you and i send all that support back tenfold thank you thank you thank you what else Mm. so what they want to tell you is i couldn't let you close to me i couldn't let you close to me we were too immature and i know i was a distraction from your pain so they feel like they distracted you from something but i feel like that's projecting i feel like you help distract them from some type of pain or you know just maybe the feelings that they have for this ex i don't know you just i feel like that that's them projecting like you know we both helped each other with some type of pain we both help each other distract mm, sure sure about that bud <laughs> okay so i just said aries Taurus, Gemini, cancer leo now it is time for my virgos it's time for my virgos and venus the person that is on their mind what is it that this person um wants to tell them we have the strength card leo energy they could be a leo what they want to tell you is that they want to start a family with you they want to get a house with you they want to start a family with you they want to get a pet with you they want to take things to the next level completely damn damn this is actually a really good reading, Virgo. My thing is their pride and ego won't allow them to just blatantly say that to you. Trust me, this person, they see a full-blown fucking life with you. The marriage, the children, like the, the American dream, basically. Like even businesses, like this person sees a forever life with you. It's just for some odd reason, they don't feel comfortable expressing that to you. They don't feel comfortable sharing that with you. Something about their pride and ego here. Hmm. What else is it that this person wants to tell my Virgos? My Virgos love interest, the person that's on their mind. Yeah. Is this somebody you're dealing with or no? Y'all comment down below and let me know if this is somebody that you're dealing with or not. Because their energy is intentionally holding back, lack of effort slash waiting for you to take action. And then we have regret slash remorseful. Is this somebody that you're separated from and they regret not letting it be known that they love you, that they want to start a family with you, that they can see forever with you? Even at the bottom of the deck, we have you're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Virgo, this person is not playing games. They're fucking in love with you. But is this someone from your past? Because why is it regret and remorse? Why are they regretting not telling you this? Why are they regretting not acting on this even? Is this somebody from my Virgo's past or is this somebody they're currently dealing with? Let's see. Oh, this is somebody from your past. 
Oh, you have an ex that is so regretful of not taking things to the next level with you. They want to reconcile with you. At the bottom of the deck, we have reconcile slash recovery. They want to get back together with you. You're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Virgo. Oh, it looks like things ended chaotically between you two. Sagittarius and Cancer energy here, Leo energy here, and Earth sign energy here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Virgo, you have an ex that fucking regrets like letting you go. You're the one that got away from them. You're literally the one that got away. You're the one when they think about marriage, when they think about starting a family, they think of you like, damn, I could have had that with this Virgo. I could have. Virgo. This person is in love. They're in love and they regret not acting on the love they have for you. They regret on letting their pride and ego get in the way of what they could have had with you. They really fantasize about the future. They fantasize about what could have been, what should have been. What the, like they, they just, they think about it. They dream about it. They fantasize about it. They daydream about it. Like, wow, this person is in love with you. I, I feel like this person is going to reach out before the end of this year. All right, my Libras. My Libras. Happy Libra season. Happy Libra season. Happy Libra season. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Happy Libra season. My Libras, the person that's on their mind. What is it that this person wants to tell them? My Libras, the person that is on their mind. They want to squash whatever whatever beef y'all got going on. They want to squash it. Whatever issues, whatever beef, whatever problems, they want to squash it. They. My thing is, their pride, their pride and ego is high as hell. Their pride and ego is high as hell for some reason. So it's like they want to squash whatever issues y'all got, but they don't want to say it, which is so fucking weird. We have Leo energy here. We have air sign energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me more about what this person wants to say. Yeah, they tired of fighting with you. They tired of arguing with you. They're tired of all this animosity that y'all got. Like they want to tell you they want things to be better. They want to tell you, like, I'm tired of, of, of us beefing. I'm tired of these fucking issues. I'm so sick and tired. I want to be cool. For some of y'all, this is a baby mama or a baby daddy. And they're, they're on some, like, I'm tired of fighting with you. Like, can we at least co-parent? Can we be cordial for our child? Like, I want to be able to go out with our child to family gatherings. I want to be able to go out with our child to aquariums and on vacations and shit. Even if we're not together, I want to be able to do that. I don't want to be beefing with you. And for others of y'all, this is somebody that you're dealing with currently. And they just want to tell you, like, I'm, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of the back and forth with us. I don't want to beef with you anymore. I don't want issues with you anymore. Tell me more. What else is it that this person wants to tell my, uh, my Libras? Real effort. See, trying to change behavior and or life for the better. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We have jealousy slash envy. So I feel like um, all these issues come from jealousy. All these issues come from, you know, overthinking and let their, letting their mind get the best of them. Whatever the case may be. But they, they want to put in real effort on being cool. I really feel like this is a baby mama, baby daddy thing. I'm not going to lie. I really feel that way. It doesn't have to be what it could be. But that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling strongly. This is baby mama, baby daddy drama. And they're like, look, we got to cut it out. We got to do better for our child. We got to cut the bullshit. If you and I move on, we can move on. We could be jealous, but we got to keep that jealousy at bay. We got to keep that jealousy from, you know, we got to we got to not act on that jealousy cuz we got to we got to do better for our child. They also want to tell you they feel like you got anger issues. <laughs> they feel like you're the one that be picking fights. <laughs> All right, that is um that was what Libra, yes, that was Libra. So now Scorpio, let's get it, Scorpio. Y'all seen that meme talking about some sneaky ass Scorpios? <laughs> All right, my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the person that is on their mind wants to tell them? The person that they're dealing with, the person that's on their mind. What is it that they want to tell them? Tell me 
give me one more card. What is it that this person wants to tell them? It looks like this is somebody that you're not communicating with. This could be a friend or this could be a lover. But they're, um, what they want to tell you is y'all got to stop all that fighting. All that fighting, all that arguing, all them issues. Okay, hold on. I'm getting so many different like downloads right now just looking at these cards okay this looks like somebody that you aren't in communication with they want to tell you yes i want to stop fighting with you i want to stop arguing with you but it's so weird because i see them coming towards you starting an argument i see this person wants to rebuild the bond rebuild the relationship but it's so weird because like I don't know. I don't know. Scorpio, this is weird. I just, it's, it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I, I got all signs here except water signs. This person wants to come towards you to rebuild the bond, but they're gonna come towards you arguing with you. Tell me more about what this person wants to say to my Scorpios. Like, that's so fucking weird. Twin flame, full of lies, dishonest and or deceptive. I, f I don't know, okay. Now I see. They want to come towards you arguing because they feel like they found some type of truth about you. It's something that they think you lied about, which you could have lied or you could have not. You know, you would know if you lied about something. <laughs> you would know if you lied about something and what you lied about, you would know for sure. But, um, I don't know. I see something here like this person. <sighs> This person feels like they found out some type of truth about you and they want to confront you on it. But they still want to mend things with you. This could be a twin flame type of energy. It could be. This person could be your twin flame, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like a twin flame reading. Comment. Let me know if you guys would like a twin flame reading. Um, I record one this week for y'all. But yeah, this person could possibly be a twin flame. There's something here. They feel like they, they caught you in a lie and now they want to confront you. But they also still want to mend things with you. It's weird energy. I'm going to just hop to the next reading because the fuck is going on with that? Sorry, Scorpio. That shit had my brain in shambles. Got me scratching my head wondering what the fuck going on. <laughs> Alright, Sagittarius. My Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that their um love interest the person that's on their mind wants to tell them my sagittarius viewers let's see how in love they are with you how infatuated they are with you how they feel like you are so beautiful so gorgeous so handsome they also want to tell you how sensitive they are and how emotional they can be this person they're very sensitive but i feel like they try to act hard or they try to act careless they try to hide that but this person, they're slowly but surely going to become vulnerable with you. Them expressing how sensitive they are is basically the first step of them, of them, you know, letting down their guard and being vulnerable with you. Because it's like if a person is telling you that they're sensitive, a manipulator, a liar, a cheater, whatever the case may be, is going to have so much fucking fun with that. Like, you can have a lot of fun with somebody that's, that's sensitive if you're a shitty ass person. So I just see... This is their way of basically showing you and telling you that they trust you in a way and that they want to continue this connection with you, basically. This is like their first step, the first wall that they're taking down with you. What else is it that this person wants to tell them? That's cute, Sagittarius. That's super cute. Aw, yeah, now I see why. <laughs> Now I see why they want to tell you how sensitive they are. They feel like you got fucking anger issues. They feel like you have a bad temper. And when you're like mean to them, when, you know, you, when you're a little harsh with them, it like, 
it breaks their heart. It breaks their heart because they're sodium sensitive. When you guys are arguing and you say hurtful things, mean things, it fucking breaks their heart. Like it makes their heart drop into their ass. Because of how sensitive they are. We have bad temper, anger issues, and then we have trust issues. So this person, they have trust issues. They're very sensitive. They're very emotional. And they want to express that. They want to let you know. Like I said, this is their first step of showing you and trusting you. This is their first step of letting their guard down with you. So, you know, be gentle with their hearts, Edge. Because they about to be opening up like a fucking flower. I'm telling you, they about to be opening up. They about to be spilling their heart out. They are, they are, they are. Aww. You guys, that's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's super cute. Okay, Sag, that's a pretty good reading right there. Okay, I love that for you. Alright, so I did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Now it's Capricorn. If I'm not mistaken, it's Capricorn. And then it's Aquarius and then Pisces. So my Capricorns. What is it that the person on your mind wants to tell you? Your love interest. What is it that they want to tell you? How they're falling for you. They are falling for you. They want to tell you that they're falling for you, but they're going to continue hiding it until they feel like they can trust you. This person definitely has trust issues. Um, heavy water sign energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but also this water sign energy, these cups is representing the emotions they have for you. Like they are falling in love. It's just they feel like they can't trust nobody. They feel like they can't trust nobody. They feel like they, they shouldn't fall in love. They feel like they can't fall in love. But you got this person sprung. Like, I'm literally hearing I'm sprung by T-Pain. I'm sprung. Dog, she got me. <laughs> got me doing things I never do. I feel like they'll express this on a drunk night. I feel like this person, they enjoy drinking. I don't think they're an alcoholic. I don't think they have, you know, drinking problems. But I do feel like this person likes to drink occasionally. And I feel like on a drunk night, they're going to they're gonna blow your phone up. Like, I love you. I love you. I want to be with you. I love you. Yeah. They also want to tell you they got a fear of commitment. They got a fear of commitment, but they want you all to their self. Literally. Direct message to you from their energy. I want you all to myself. They're just fearful of being betrayed, of being cheated on, of being left for someone else. They have a fear of that. I'm telling you, this person, they're falling for you, but they're fearful of the fact that they're falling for you. They're going to continue hiding it. I'm telling you, on a drunk night, they're going to express that shit. On a drunk night, if they do other drugs, they're going to express it too. Like, I don't know why, shrooms. I'm, I'm picking up like shrooms energy, shrooms acid like a drug that would have them tripping out. This is so specific. But a drug that would have their ass tripping out is going to cause them to have a heart to heart conversation with you. The letters U, M, S, X, I, and T is significant here. Maybe that's, that's their initials. Something to do with their name. M as in mom. This person could have multiple pets as well. Yeah, very specific. Very specific. But yeah, this person, just know. Capricorn. They in love with you. They just have a fear of love. A fear of love, a fear of commitment, a fear of being left and betrayed. They fear that shit wholeheartedly. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, it's about that time for your love reading. It's about that time. It's about that time. This is going to be what the love interest wants to tell you. I did have to cut off the video. Um and finish it later on so yeah Aquarius it is your turn and then after it will be Pisces and then I'll be done with this video. so let's see the person that's on your mind your love interest this could be somebody that you're separated from or somebody that you're currently dealing with what is it that this person wants to tell you let's see let's see, let's see. what is it that this person wants to tell you what is it that this person wants to tell you this person wants to tell you that they're sorry for making you unhappy. They're sorry for hurting you. For some of y'all, this person may have cheated on you. Um, or they just gave you the runaround. Like, they may have sold you a dream. Have you thinking, like, they're ready to be in a relationship. And then they just completely switched up on you. I just see this person. Um, it could be a Leo. 
it could be a libra it doesn't have to be but that's the sign that came out so far but yeah i basically see this person they want to apologize to you for making you unhappy this is definitely somebody that you're separated from and the distance has made them realize how happy you make them the distance has made them realize how in love they are with you basically you added to their happiness you brought a lot of joy into their life like your energy was very refreshing to them and they basically want to tell you like i'm sorry i'm sorry for fucking up i'm sorry for not doing right by you um i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry we got the devil card here capricorn energy they're sorry for being toxic they're sorry for a third party if there was a third party they're sorry for taking their anger and pain out on you it looks like this person sort of used you as a punching bag for some literally unfortunately trigger warning um and for others like figuratively they just you know all the pain and anger that they that they were bottling in is sort of like they took it out on you because they thought you would always be there but they basically want to apologize they realize like this aquarius wasn't gonna always be there this aquarius really cared about me they really loved me they really brought me happiness i really love them and i just see this person wanting to apologize they want you back in their life for some of y'all this could be a baby daddy baby mama for others this could even be a friend possibly and the third party energy that i'm picking up on could be just them you know gossiping with other people about you or just letting other people get in their ear about you letting other people get in the way of this friendship you brought a lot of happiness to this person you really did I'm gonna go in with the oracle deck that i created the masculine's oracle COVID 19 edition this deck is available on my website you guys everything you need to know about me is on my website Oop, the whole deck done fell. <laughs> everything you guys need to know about me is in my description box um i do provide readings on my website so definitely make sure you check that out i do provide products as well this being one of the products um my instagram is also in the description box Throughout the week, you guys, I do different deals. So Mondays is Mini Love Message Monday. Tuesday is Their Hidden Feelings Tuesday. And Wednesday, it differs from what they want to tell you Wednesday or what's their current feelings Wednesday. So check that out. But we're going to go into the Oracle deck that I created. And we're about to see. Oh, cards already flying. Wow, can't make this shit up. Can't make it up, can't make it up, can't make it up. You're the one that got away. I told y'all. I told y'all this person wants you back. You made them happy. I don't want to be apart anymore. I'm telling y'all. Can't make this shit up. It's going hand in hand with what I literally just said. It's literally going hand in hand. Let's see the last card. I hide behind material things. Hmm. Let's get some clarification on that card. Why is that? What's the reason behind that? We have the Empress here. the empress is here let me get more clues and once again i'm picking up this third party energy it's not that they hide behind material things it's sort of like they hide behind other people but yeah when i say they hide behind other people i mean sort of using other people as an ego boost once again i'm picking up a third party energy we have the empress here and then we have the three of cups in reverse it's sort of like they use other people to boost their self-esteem and that's that's also an issue in this connection this is also an issue that you guys were experiencing hmm yeah it's like it's not that they hid behind material things it's they used other people for some type of gain so you know some people they use designer items they use you know expensive ass shoes and jewelry and clothes as a way to hide their insecurities but this person they used actual people so if this is somebody that you were romantically involved with it's like they use other people to boost their self-esteem they had you in third party situations they may have had you arguing with the third party fighting the third party all types of bullshit and that gave them the ego boost that they needed for others of you if this is a friend still they could have had you arguing with their other friends they could have been you know playing both sides feeding things in their ear feeding things in your ear to to make y'all argue to make y'all fight to give them an ego boost like oh yeah both of these people care about me both of these people care about being my friend like i don't know super weird energy 
But basically, I see whoever this person is, they're realizing their faults. They're realizing that they fucked up with you. You were really genuine with them. And, you know, they, they want you back in their life. Whether it's as a friendship, a relationship, they want you back in their life. But you're the one that got away and I don't want to be a part anymore. I'm feeling you. They know how genuine you were. They know, they know, they know. All right, so now Pisces. Let's get into my Pisces. Let's get into my Pisces. Pisces is the last sign to do, y'all. So I'm done after Pisces. So my Pisces, let's get to it. Let's get to it. What is it that the person on your mind wants to tell you? This could be somebody that you're involved with. Somebody that you're separated from. What is it that the person on your mind, what is it that they want to tell you? They want to tell you that they aren't ready for a relationship. They want to take things super slow with you. But the reason behind that is because they're getting a lot of attention from other people. So to simplify, they basically want to tell you that they don't want to put all their eggs in one basket because they have a lot of different options that they can choose from. So this person basically just wants to see what's out there. For this to come out, I feel like you guys have been dealing with one another for a while. And I feel like they know they fucked up leading you on. I really feel like this person led you on. Made you believe that you guys were going to settle down or that this was leading into a relationship. And it's like now, I don't know if their money is going up, if they glowing up, like physically, if they money going up. I don't know what it is, but they are definitely catching the attention of other people. And that's just what it is. It's like now they have a little ego boost. Like, oh, all these people want me. All these people want me. Let me let me deal with all these people. Basically, that's that's pretty much what I'm getting. Let me deal with everybody, not just this Pisces. Yeah, Seven of Swords. I feel like this has been going on for a while, too. This is something that they want to tell you, but I don't see that they're actually going to tell you this. I feel like they're just going to continue leading you on. They're going to continue telling you, like, yeah, you know, I'm not ready for a relationship. I want to take things slow, you know. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It'll happen one day, but not right now. Like, I basically see this person just feeding you lies to keep you, to keep you stuck on them, to string you along string you along while they're stringing other people along as well this person is definitely a player definitely a player without a doubt mm. Mm -mm -mm. what else is it that this person wants to tell my pisces i'm not liking this person y'all better cut them off oh god i know you fucking lying i know you fucking lying one of the people that they're dealing with is trying to get pregnant by them or trying to get them pregnant. We have intentional pregnancy, planned pregnancy, sex with intentions of conceiving a child, and we have self-sabotage. This person is sabotaging things with you, not knowing that like they have people that's trying to trap them or they have someone that's trying to trap them. I'm telling you, they're they're not only stringing you along, they're stringing along someone else and this other person, they're they're stringing along multiple people. But one out of those multiple people are like, oh, no, I'm not going to let you get away. I'm trapping that ass. I'm getting pregnant or I'm getting you pregnant. You're not getting away. You could think you're going to be dealing with all these people or you could think you're stringing me along and it's leading to a relationship one day. You could think that, but I'm about to get your ass. Like there's somebody, there's somebody literally intending to get pregnant by this person to keep them in their life. So this person is sabotaging things with you and just, just just dealing with anyone not knowing they have somebody that is literally trying to trap that ass so there goes that pisces mm -mm, i don't like that for you but this is the end of the reading you guys thank you for watching make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe um next week i'll probably do what's their current feelings wednesday um i think for like the past two weeks i did what they want to tell you so next week i'll be doing what's their current feelings and yeah have a great day great night whenever you see this bye